Thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Simeon. Fifteen people were killed in the West Texas fertilizer plant explosion more than a week ago, and state and federal investigators have eliminated natural causes, such as a lightning strike, as a potential spark for that fire. What should people who live near or own property near explosions and industrial accidents do to protect themselves after a disaster? Attorney Matthew Matheny joins us with advice. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. First, let's start off uh, with a little bit about your legal background. Certainly. I'm an attorney at the Provost Humphrey Law Firm here in Beaumont, Texas. We have offices throughout the United States. Uh, one of the things that our law firm has a special connection to uh, is heavy industry. Uh, the law firm was founded over 40 years ago on the premise and on the Gulf Coast of representing refinery workers in and out of uh, facilities. Over time, that's grown to expand to steel workers throughout Canada and North America, uh, paper workers, and still we represent petrochemical workers. And the sad reality is uh, when you work around uh, industrial equipment, or when live you work, around, or yes. live around mm -hmm. uh, the, the chance uh, for a catastrophic event or an explosion is always present. And unfortunately, uh, that's just a fact of life. That's a fact of certainly living in Southeast Texas. And, and that's one of the areas that our firm uh, specializes in on a, on a regular basis when these types of events occur. All right. So after you catch your breath uh, after a disaster such as this, what is the first thing a person should do? Well, the first thing is safety. Safety is absolutely paramount. Make sure that uh, your family and yourself are in a, a safe place. Uh, heed government warnings. If there's a shelter in place, follow what you're told to do. If they say evacuate, take it seriously. Uh, whenever there is an industrial accident, there is the potential for uh, toxic gases to be released into the atmosphere. And if that's the case, you need to take uh, the, the adequate precaution to protect you and your family. Uh, once you've been uh, secured and safe and your, and your friends and loved ones are safe, uh, the next thing you would turn to obviously is your property uh, and to determine if there's any loss of property, uh, damage to property, things of that nature. All right. Now, what about uh, medical records and keeping uh, receipts related to uh, medications, et cetera? If you believe that you have been exposed uh, to some sort of toxic gas or chemical in connection with uh, a release or an explosion, uh, go to the emergency room immediately. Uh, keep track of uh, all of your medical treatment. Uh, take all of the doctor's advice very seriously and follow up with your medical care. So many times uh, people uh, go to the emergency room and they fail to follow up when they really should. Uh, and to make sure that uh, there's no prolonged effects uh, of any potential inhalation injury, uh, eye injury, or even physical injury to, based on the kind of explosion that you're dealing with. Now, what kind of compensation is available for nearby property owners? Well, it, it, it obviously ba it's based on what your damages might be. Uh, if you have sustained physical damage to your property uh, and uh, the facility uh, that housed the explosion uh, was at fault, uh, they bear the legal responsibility to compensate you for your loss. Uh, that's the primary source for compensation. But then you also have your homeowner's insurance policy. And I would encourage anyone, if you are affected by uh, this type of uh, catastrophe, one, you need to seek compensation from the person at fault, the company at fault, uh, but number two, then you always need to make sure that you're update and current with your, your homeowner's insurance. Now what rules apply to business owners who are in the area? Very similar, however, businesses that uh, are directly and materially affected uh, by some sort of catastrophic event are probably, in, in all likelihood, going to have an additional claim, not just property damage, but also a business interruption claim. And I'm sure uh, people in our area have heard that term uh, after our hurricanes, uh, but it's no different here. Uh, if you do suffer a business loss as a result of a catastrophic event, you can be compensated for your business interruption as well, the loss of revenue and things of that nature. Now, what kind of governmental assistance can uh, survivors rely on at times like this? Well, it's uh, there are several government agencies that obviously are tasked with the responsibility of investigating these types of events. There's uh, obviously
obviously FEMA, which we're all familiar with FEMA, uh, if the area is declared a federal disaster zone, such as West Texas, uh, FEMA should be on site uh, to provide relief and support. Uh, then you have your governmental regulatory agencies like OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or the EPA, uh, would, would also be on site for things of that nature. But then you also have Texas organizations. You have uh, the Texas Environmental uh, Commission. You have um, uh, the uh, I'm slipping my mind right now, uh, <laughs> but you definitely have uh, some state relief as well okay. uh, that you know you can seek out for you know uh, whatever kind of basic necessities you might need, or you know if you have health and safety concerns. And always organizations such as the Red Cross do a fantastic job. We're just about out out of time, but do you need to hire an attorney? It depends. Uh, it depends on your situation. Every single person handles uh, their business differently, and they also suffer losses differently. But anytime someone has been materially affected, a business has been materially affected by a catastrophic event, if you're not going to hire a lawyer, it's probably a good idea to talk to one just to make sure that you're protecting your rights and that you're covering all your bases. Very good. Thank you. Matthew Matheny with Provost Humphrey. We appreciate the advice. Thank you very much. Next on Southeast Texas Weekly, the winners.